Wait a minute, you met with your mother yesterday. How did that go? It was fine. Was... What, tell me what you said to her. I was just, I was really hungover. I told her that she probably needs to uh, put her dog down soon because the dog can't walk well. Well, I guess it can, like, stand, but, like, it can't go upstairs or anything like that. So I said, Mom, it's time. I know you love that dog more than me, but... And that's confirmed. She did say those words to me. But it's time. It's time to lay down little Tasha. She's this tiny little black pug. Sweetest little pup you've ever seen. But she's like 18 or some shit. And she's fat and she can't walk. She's like... But I said, Mom... What, what'd she say? She said, Shut your fucking head. I love her. She's my baby. Red Bull Gaming Club Red Bull Gaming Club Rebel Gaming Club, worst pickup episode 141. It's getting too real. 141. That's that's real. That's real I'm shit right there. You can, these kids. These kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm a kid. I know. Simple plan. I'm just a kid. Last week we had some cool stuff. This week we got some cool stuff. Cause I I had to I had to send away. I had to. I got some mail in. We got some mail. And we got we did some thrifting. We found some stuff. Not much. First up, the thrift. We found this Wonder Shows in season one. And Jordan doesn't remember this show. What year was it? Uh, two thousand five. A very edgy show on MTV. Um, Had a lot of. Uh, I know RBK on the Facebooks remembers it. A lot of future people in it. Huh? Yeah, awesome, awesome. So a really nice find and something you don't see in New Hampshire very often is, you know, anytime you find a cult DVD collection like that, I get excited. He's got a big old bush. Yeah, edgy. Uh, the girlfriend found this Coleco Quiz Whiz from 1979, and I think we're going to try this out at some point. We'll Man. see how much Jordan knows from 1979. That's almost as old as you. Almost. A year later. Out Thrifton we found uh, this Battle Bowl game, which looks awesome. It does look awesome. I paid $275, got it home, popped it open. It's missing so many of the figures. <laughs> it looks like Blood Bowl, doesn't it? It does. Looks really cool. Yeah, take a look at the back. You can see all the, the figures. Still, still super on the fence about Blood Bowl. Yeah, I want to like it. I want to understand it, but uh, whatever. I'll uh, we'll if, play battle ball. Well, it's 15 bucks. I'll just get a copy online that has everything. Uh, this, I believe, does have everything. And this is Impact Zone. And this was from, I believe, 90, 98. This looks awesome. This looks incredible, guys. Take a look. It looks kind of like uh, Battleship, but with aliens. You're trying to recover a UFO. Yeah. Kind of odd. This looks fucking sweet. Yeah, you don't see... Anytime you see a board game like that and you've never seen it, you always just pop it's on like it because you don't know when you're... $4.25? $4.25. That's a steal. Yeah. And uh, Nick Sage, you ain't got this shit. No. Well, if it's not a Kickstarter that costs $500, he doesn't give a shit about it. Yeah, one day we'll play hate. One day. Out at the old thrift for uh, two seventy five, I picked this bad boy up. This obviously is Godzilla. I, I knew right away. I just didn't know what time period. I looked at the bottom, and I was like, "Oh, nineteen eighty five." Um. I think I might go buy the new movie. It looks good. What do you guys think, Godzilla? New movie? I don't know. I had one just like this. I think. Probably did. Yeah. And if you did, it'd be like a $40 figure. Oh, good to know now. Yeah, so if you guys are out there, you find original Godzilla stuff, you know, you pop on it, because... It's expensive. It is expensive. Gojira. Why don't we, uh, why don't we do a GameStop grab real quick, Jordan? 
that trademarked? Yeah. It's where I get behind the camera and talk to Jordan while he pulls up the games. Harvest Moon 3D, The Lost Valley. So we, we can confirm that Harvest Moon hasn't been good in a long time since the, what, the original guy split off and did, what, Rune Factory? I, I have no idea. I think it is. I think they split. That's why it's been kind of mediocre at best. Play Stardew. It's good. Trails of Cold Steel 1. Awesome game. Jordan, didn't you just beat that? I did just beat it. It's uh, 80 hours. And you cried? I didn't cry. You was, wanted to. No, like as soon as I uh, beat the game, I had to start playing the second one immediately. I was like, it's like I need So to funny play story, games. that that was my copy that I traded in or no. I traded to Sage because he gave me a sealed collector's edition. Yeah. So I gave him that one and he uh he, he traded, traded it. it. He fucking traded it and then I had to rebuy it. He's a pussy and he wouldn't like good games. He's still bitching about fucking bloodstain. Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, Wheelie Breakers. I already had that, but when you see it for 269, I know it's really difficult to find. I, I just snag it up in case my friends need it. Deadly Creatures. Another one, 449. It says, well, <laughs> it has Billy Bob Thornton and Dennis Hopper in it. Yeah, that's gonna be a cult game for- What the fuck is this? Yeah. It's like a f animal fighting game. Yep, that'll be a cult. Tough one to find. Clash the Titans, the video game. If, is this the first one of the new ones? I don't know I what that so, is. But awesome first movie. Ooh, nice. Dragon Guard 3. Yep, uh, once again. Last and, time I looked at a, at a convention, this was expensive as shit. Yeah, well I got it for eight, uh, like seven and change. Gotta play it. Uh, oh, out thrifting, I found one other item. We found this Go Vacation. Whoa. Uh... It's pretty fun. Namco. I overpaid. I shouldn't have paid $4 for this. Sure, I don't... That's fine. It, no, it's a good game, but... It's a fucking mini game game. Yeah, it is. Uh, ordered off Amazon for 33 bucks. Brand new. We got this Wreckfest. This looks like Destruction Derby, but for the modern times, man. Is this the new one? Yeah, it's, it's brand new. Oh, yeah. No, I was watching a gameplay. It's supposed to be good. Yep. I'm very hopeful on that one. Off eBay, we found this X-Morph Defense Limited Edition. And this looks neat. This looks like a... Uh, it says top-down shooter and tower defense strategy. So... You're loose in here. Yeah, I know. I can, all these are fucking loose. Uh, pretty neat. It's we'll, fucking cool art. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that. So. It, was, it was like 25 bucks. So, I've never seen it before, so good jab. We got, uh, we got a package. We got a package right here. From whom? This is from my boy Gil. Gil, I appreciate you. You've, you've helped support in the past with, uh, with a, a game for the GameCube collection. And now a piece of you will be forever in the Wii collection. Okay. And he got a copy of Kung Fu Panda 2. Sealed. Sealed. Yep, that shine is, is and that use the the tablet. Oh, weird. Tablet's fun. Wait, what tablet? It's the one you, you write on with the controller. You don't know? No, I don't fuck with Wii. So Gil, I got a Wii U. Much appreciated, man, and, and, and still sorry about your your loss in your family. Get a get a loss in his family. News to me, but I am sorry if they meant something to you. Ah. Uh, Man, lately I just want to like curate a better collection. What's a good? Hey, okay. uh, two questions. Recently got a Wii U. I got like six games on it that I like. Do you know any good ones that are on there? And also, PlayStation Classic is the fucking is it blue something blue USBs with all the fucking ROMs on it. Is that worth the twenty dollar price tag? Let me know. Oh, they pre-sell the, the USB? Yeah, they're like 101 games. 101? What is it, like all RPGs? and? They, there's like three or four different ones. There's like a fighter pack. Uh, there's a crackhead pack, which I think is mostly RPGs. There's a math head pack, which is some more RPGs. 
A lot of RPGs on the one. See, this is where I'm guessing. See, you would. I'm sure one of our one of our yeah, peeps sure out there someone. are gonna be like, just give me ten dollars, and I'll fucking ship you a USB drive because I already have all the ROMs. Or that, I'll totally do that. Let us know if you've if you've uh, hacked it and, and modded that sucker out. The, I haven't even started doing it. I, mine's still sealed up because I don't want to fuck it up and yeah, brick it, it. Took it out of the box and didn't touch it. Yeah. I'm stupid. Uh. Yeah, cultivating a collection at this point. I mean, you don't have that problem. No, I got most of the games I want. Except for new stuff, obviously. But most of the shit I'm pretty good on. Well, I've thought about cultivating a little bit. And if I like a, a genre of game, I feel like I just need to go big. And I enjoy the strategy games the most. Where are they? But there's no games back there. But you count. I'm just using this as a fucking example. You go big on everything. It's beautiful though, it's isn't it? It's good thing you've never tried drugs. Alright, let's break this shit up. What's up, you fucking nerds? This is Yese Asha in the motherfucking hairs. Uh, I got some pickups here. Uh, I've been picking up. These aren't from last week. These are from quite a while. And um, I figured I'd show them to you because you love this shit. Alright. First off... Uh, I'll show you what I got off the internet. Um, a couple amazing games for very cheap. I got the SimCity 2000, which I'm sure you can see from there, so I won't put up a picture on the screen. Psych! <laughs> Alright, I love this game, and I don't give a fuck if you don't. This other game I got is called Creatures for the PS1, and I couldn't find much on it, but I'm sure it's going to be disappointing. And I overpaid. And the last one I got from the internet is Destroy All Humans. It was very cheap. And I know there's a HD release coming out for that. So this was a needless purchase. <laughs> Papa Pete, Papa Pete. These next games I got, um, I got them from thrifting. I was at a thrift store. That's what it is. It's thrifting, guys. <laughs> All right, first one. For the PS2 is Backyard Wrestling 2, There Goes the Neighborhood. And it's pretty cool, guys, because you can use characters from the ICP and Andrew WK. Party hard. I also got Inuyasha. Why did I get this game? Because it says Asha. And then I got Greatest Hits Star Wars Starfighter. Am I going to play this? No. And finally, Looney Tunes Acme Arsenal. It looked pretty cool. Hopefully it is. I doubt it though. You know what? We're going to switch it up for this final little pile of games here. I got some pretty sweet stuff here. Actually, I'll tell you the backstory. My cousin bought a cottage and uh, it came with everything included, so whatever was in there stayed. And I looked under the where they had their big old TV, and I found some box SNES, y'all. Yeah! So anyways, we're gonna do this fashion show style, and enjoy this music, it's coming from my new album. Well guys, that's it for my pickups. I really hope you enjoyed them and I hope you learned something. Uh, be sure to go check out my SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash yeseyasha. It's got all the tunes coming out on my new album which drops end of September. So be sure to uh, follow me on my Yeseyasha YouTube channel. I'm out of breath from the fashion show. 
Also, don't forget to add me on Insta at Yeseyasha and add me on PlayStation Network uh, at Yese underscore Asha, capital Y, capital A. And uh, peace out and enjoy your retro gaming. Rebel Gaming Club for life. Love you. Uh, What's it? NIS America. Oh, God Wars. I, I love that site. I love what they do. Um, so I ordered a few collector's editions because I'm like, I love strategy. And I've actually played this on the PS4, but now I have the, the complete legend God Wars. And I guess this has an extra hundred hours to it. That's a lot of gameplay. It is. I just love that box art yeah, too. What, what is this? It's a strategy game. Is it like, it looks like, it's like Fire Emblem. It's Fire Emblem? Uh, emblem. Emblem. It's very Fire Emblem. Yeah. I'd probably like it too. Yeah. Yeah, character design's cool. Yep, so th that I ordered and ordered this right here. It's a disaster? No. Nope. It's, fine. it's big. What did we order? Disgaea 1. Collector's edition. Simple box. Very simple. I like it. Stuffed with goodness. I have not opened it yet. That mouse pad sucks. You were a liar. Got a, a like comic Super book. Boy. And came with a sweet mouse pad. They usually have tits. That's kind of the point of these mouse pads. Oh. Yeah. So they fucked me out of some tits. Uh, I love Disgaea. D2 is one of my favorite games of all time. I'm not a big fan. I wanted to like it. I just didn't. I love it. Love it. I love that collector's edition. So yeah, I was thinking about cultivating. If it's stuff I like, I, I just need to go to the top with it. And I need to start consolidating. I keep looking at the Super Nintendo. You don't even like it. I fucking don't. I don't even like Super Nintendo. Yeah. Well, if it's if it ain't fucking Battletoads and Super Mario Bros, you don't really need it. Like, I could name, I could name like five games right now. I don't even give a fuck. Wait, do you got a uh, fucking Mario RPG? Yeah. I'll be taking that. You ain't got that kind of money, son. When you finally get rid of your shit, I'll be taking that. So, yeah. What's back. what's what's cult? Yeah, I don't know where to put it. It's all about cultivating the collection of your dreams. But I'm working on it. I'm getting there. I'm gonna start hopping on these collector's editions myself. We missed out on that Trails of Cold Steel three. Yeah, we looked at that. I saw it. I didn't even know it was on sale. And they sold the fuck they out. They sold out real quick on that one. Uh, if you haven't checked out their website, you probably should. If you like the collector's edition stuff. Uh, I feel like weird Japanese shit. Yeah. yeah. Disaster Report 4 is coming with a collector's edition. Which on paper sounds awesome. I bet it's a turd. I, I don't think so. I think it's going to be something fun to have. Especially the, the collector aspect of it. So if you're into the weird collecting shit, Disaster Report 4 will be up your alley. I think I'm going to go surviving soon in the woods. Not today because it's raining. No, but... It'd be really hard to survive in the rain. I'm going to get me a survival kit and a knife and just go for like two days in the woods. Bring my DS. <laughs> it dies. You're like, okay, I've had enough. <laughs> uh, what else you got? I think that's... Oh, no, I lied. I lied. Why don't you dare grab Cindy Lauper? That's old as shit. I, uh, I went to uh, One Last Life in Claremont. Hey, Chris. Hello, Chris. I don't, I don't think you're watching anymore, but if you happen to watch this, I bought some games from you. What's up with your girl, man? He was doing 50% off everything in the store. It was unfortunate that I had mostly everything. I mean, that's a good promotion, though. That is a great promotion. What is that? Uh, it's a game called Stolen on the Xbox. Looks like, uh, hang on, Flux. Yeah, I wonder if Richard Brian Kahn or Papa Pete know about this one. Because I, I never see it, so maybe it's uncommon. I know it's not super expensive, but... Looks cool. Uh, Casper, Spirit Dimensions. I fucking hate Casper. Well, with Ghost Hunters being back on TV, I'm, I got the spirit in me, if you know what I mean. Yeah. See how I did that? Fucking loser. What? Uh, we got this Mobile Suit Gundam, Zionic Front. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm only missing one Gundam game now on the PS2. Yeah. God damn it, MS Saga. 
I uh, picked up the case only for Let's Play Garden. I might just buy another copy. I got money like that. Do you have anything in here? No, he just gave me the case. Oh. He just gave that. To Chris gave me the case. And the last game I found, which was the most exciting game out of all of these, was Ratchet and Clank Size Matters. Love it. Size Matters, It's I'd never see this for some weird love, reason. I don't love that one in particular, but I love Ratchet and Clank. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I love the whole series, too, but Size Matters, had you ever seen it on the PS2? No. I thought it was only on PS3, but I may just be thinking about it all for No, you're thinking PSP. Oh. It was an exclusive, I think, to that originally, and then they, or, I don't ported. know, what, poured it over one way or another. Either way, that was really cool, and it was all 50% off, so all those games end up being like 25 bucks. What was your favorite of the PlayStation 2 era fucking animal protagonists. Sly Cooper, Rash and Clank, or I guess he's human, but D Jack and Daxter. Is he human? Elfish. Elfish? He's got big fucking ears. Looks like a hybrid. What's your favorite of those three, though? Let us know in the comments. Ugh. Hey. Alright. Friday, did you like Sly Cooper the best? I believe that's that's the pickups this week. That is everything. I just I tapped it out right there. I don't have anything else. Good. I don't have anything else. Oh, what's up, Nugget? Nah, any news? Any game updates? Where are you at? What are you playing? What you doing? I'm still playing Fire Emblem. Yeah, how's that? The going? game, oh, it's it's difficult. If you play it on the hard mode, with permanent death. You really have to think about it and go back and play again until you... Yeah, it's a strategy game, man. I know, but you went on casual. Yeah, casual and... With a... no permanent death. Yeah. And normal mode. Then, what the... That's like stealing candy from a baby. I still end up dying a lot. So you suck. Yeah, I'm just not good. Sometimes I'm good at strategy, and sometimes I'm not. Uh, yeah, I haven't touched that for a while. Persona 5's almost done. You've been saying that for three years now. I'm going to play it tonight and beat it tomorrow. I think Jordan's trying to play it for 200 hours without beating it. I'm at 91 and a half hours. It's hardcore. What a fucking road it's been. Why are you on my feet? Yeah, I don't. I haven't been playing anything else. Oh, the, the new Madden game. Damn. I've been dabbling. Uh, I might try Red Dead 2 again. I traded mine in. Yeah, way back, but... Hopefully it's not buggy like it was those first couple weeks. That was a fucking nightmare. Go get this fucking mission from John. Well, John's not on my camp. Fuck you. They fucked you. Well, it's just a glitch or he wouldn't pop up. Yeah, That's sure, game breaking! I'm sure they fixed it by now, Jordan. I'm, I'm pretty sure. That or Day's Gone. I... Nah. I like Mother's That was glitchy. I played for four hours, then it glitched out. Yeah. It's awesome. Awesome. Well, right. yeah, man. We'll, you know, we'll keep having a good time rocking the free world. And if the weather gets better, we're going to do some skateboarding. Hopefully. And we're going to stack up since the speed bump's too long. I can't, it's, it's like yeah. hauling a it's human like being. A six foot five human being. We're going to do, um, we're going to stack some games and have a little competition. Who can get over the most games? And there's gonna be a rule of rose in there, so if you smash <laughs> it, I'll smash you. That's not fair. Just to raise the stakes. So put fucking My Life Little Pony or whatever that shit is in there. No, rule of rose. Alling over that, we're going big. Why don't you put the... Haunting Ground's gonna be in there. The Roxy fucking Guitar Hero guitar in there too. Fam gave me that. Fuck fam. You don't mean that, fam. Fam, he likes you more than he likes me, and we're kind of almost fam. Alright guys, until next time, we'll see you later. Bye!